battled here, Skachkov, in the last 32. He beat Singapore's Gao Ning. And then in the last 16, beat Simon Gauzy from France, 4-2. But Marlon Skatchkov not sure which way the ball was going to kick. And again, that is to generate power. Just have a look at that again on the replay. Even though he's there, he's almost bending over double. And the ball going fairly quickly. Marlon comes in with an open angle. Looks as though he's going to push the ball. There, it looks as though it's a push, and then he just changes the angle of the racket at the 40 or so sports on the programme. What? Marlong now leads 8-1. The crowd appreciating the humour. Yeah. Work and the skill of Marlong than the net, but nevertheless... One, game two, Mar. For not throwing the ball high enough in the air, but so far, so good for him in Stockholm. One, no. Be great if he could take a game, give them something to cheer about. Certainly can't see him winning the match, but he could take a game. <laughs> from Skatchkov, the reverse service going away from the body with the racket. Then the backhand out wide to Marl. <laughs> Throwing caution to the wind. Skatchkov did well there, got a good backhand. Skatchkov thought that Marlon pounced on the opportunity. 8-6, the world's number one. <laughs> That's a great backhand down the line from Skatchkov. That's a great flick and again point. And a very good touch return from Marlon. And that's the second game by 13 points to 11 to the world's number one player, Marlon. He now leads by two games to nil. Will Skatchkov get another chance to... Saved a game point. Skatch with that forehand topspin. Didn't miss by a lot. He was seen coming across. It's over the net, and he just misses. That would have been a great point for the Russian. Three, and that's where Marlong is absolutely relentless. Give him half a chance, he's in. Launches his whole body into the shot. Catched off there with the backhand down the line. You can see Marlong going round the backhand, anticipating the ball to come. Skatchkov's only chance is to stay up at the table and take some high-risk shots. Go for his shots. <laughs> Good back. Nine five. Able. Marlong leads nine six. Four game Seven. points saved. And then the long fast serve down the line goes off the end of the table. And Marlong takes the third game, 11-7. Looks as though this match is a one step too far for the Russian. But it would be great to see him take a game. He almost did in the second. He led 11-10. Too much, it popped up. Three, 
three. Three. Snatched at the ball. Marlong there, looks for side spin smash, here comes down on the ball. Marlong now finds himself 6-4 down, 5-8. That's a great four. So good odds, 50-50 when you're playing the world champion. With two serves. Oh, so the ball drifted long. And how about that for a gutsy return? The backhand from the forehand side in points for the number 58 player in the world. And there it is. In fact, it's, it's not. That was the finest of touches. The ball just caught the edge of the table two game points and his two serves. Ten, nine. And he does. Ten. One game point in the second game. He's fourth. He's now got his fifth. Ma now with his serves. Marlong will be disappointed with that one. <laughs> Match point. <laughs> Game point, Skatchkov. <laughs> He'll be keen to get this quarterfinal over. <laughs> For Marlong. Marlon takes the fourth game, 16 points to 14. He wins by four games to number one. An excellent performance by Kirill Skachkov from Russia, playing the world's number one. 57 places higher than him on the world ranking list. Had game point in the second, had game points in the fourth. So that was a really excellent performance by the 24-year-old from Russia. His first appearance ever in a quarter-final at an ITTF Pro Tour event. And what a credit he was to himself and to Russia.